this is Emily with your Monday meditation. In this time before Christmas, we've been using four words to focus us as we welcome Christ anew. Hope, peace, joy, and love. Today we're focusing on love. But these last two words have been emotions, joy, and love. They're things that we feel. Yet what we feel doesn't stay simply within our mind and our heart. The science of emotions shows that there are physiological and behavioral responses that we have to the things that we feel inside. So think of a time when you were bursting with joy. You probably couldn't wipe the smile off your face or you couldn't keep the spring out of your step. And the emotion of love is no different. It creates a response in our body and in our behavior. Love causes us to act. We see love causing action in our relationship with God. Think about John 3:16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son. It is the love of God for the whole of creation that causes God to send the son. Love prods the action. Love too causes us to take action. When we have someone in our life that we love, we give to them. Whether we give them a physical gift or the gift of our time and our attention, it is the love that we feel that prods us to action. God loves, so God gives. We love, so we give. In this season, many times we give physical gifts as a way of showing our love for people and sometimes pets in our lives. Yet the giving doesn't end with the gifts that you can tie up with a bow. The love extends to how we treat one another. So how will you enact your love for God today? How can you, in your body and your behavior, show your love as we welcome Christ anew in our lives? Let us pray. Thank you, God, for the way you show your love for the world by giving your son. Help us this day to show our love in our bodies and in our treatment of one another. Amen.